Things began for me whistleblowing and exposing about the sexual abuse trafficking of vulnerable women at a nonprofit mental health organization, which was, is funded 60% by Alberta Health Services. This segued into a false accusation by one of the said females. Who may have been behind her doing this, I do not know, but I have strong suspicions. She was also upset with me for not doing more for them. It also appears over time she developed feelings for me. This segued into police brutality and the two former officers were clear why they beat me, leaving me partly disabled for life. It was based on the female. When things quickly turned sideways for them, they tried to protect themselves by falsely accusing me of alleged obstruction and allegedly assaulting a police officer. This segued into police, judicial and political corruption in the city of Calgary. Over time, I learned more about the people involved. My being a former insider in the mental health industry and having working knowledge of law gives me first-hand knowledge and experience. I have given a plethora of independent evidence to support my story. Do you get it now? And what? The whole program needs to get shut down. This is bullshit. This is so... I'm so sick of this. Like I have been what? dealing with this program for a year and a half and I've seen mm -hmm. what happened to members. I've seen what happened to staff. And there's all well, behind the scene crap that no one knows about. See what? I need to get the hell out of here. Well, that's a choice that you have to make. It's not my fight. Yeah, it is. I'm mad at you. I really want to tell you to fuck you. Good. Mm -hmm. So I'll say it. Because you're running away now. I'm not running away. Yeah, you are. No. Yeah, it's you're called. Leaving. You're leaving members behind. It's called self-preservation. Yeah, whatever. Well, then get mad at me. It's okay. Okay, this is really, really, really involved. Oh, yes. Wow. This would take a long time to get through this. Um, this is a major project. <laughs> and Washington, well, everybody, everyone who has what's in your hand realizes, like, oh, damn, you're, you're done. Especially something like this, something along these lines. Well, see the and in my particular case, it's, um, not happening. So, anyway, um, this guy is taking my picture. Yeah, the solution is I have to figure out who's behind this shit. But and you then, gotta figure it out by yourself? You can't... No. You can't... April 20th, 2013, the time is 5.59 p.m. I'm going to meet you. And um, my goal is going to be to tell her that we should not associate or associate as much. Anyway, that's that.
said in many videos over the years that I'm one against many. I knew I was fighting a losing battle trying to expose and, and 
whistle blow and everything else, but I still pushed forward. I stood alone. And even people within the city of Calgary who's sick of the corruption feeding me information about different individuals such as the criminal trial judge, the prosecutor of that, the civil defense lawyer, and the list goes on. But these are all cowards. I sit alone and they still band together and cower away. And this goes all the way right up to the mayor. political interference. Just remember I was one man against many. Fighting a losing battle but I still fought to the end. Do you get it now? Listen to this and write it down if you can't remember it. You're never going to outgrow warfare. You simply must learn to fight. I hear people saying to me, oh, when is it going to get easier? When you die.